Michelle and Jeff with HodgePodge Hoosiers. We got our 12 foot bed assembled and we've got the first layer in which is bark and seasoned wood. You don't want to put green in there, you want seasoned, so this is wood we've had for a while. Next layer is going to be straw and then cardboard. Then we're going to put in some pine straw and then we're going to top it off with our topsoil. So we're going to get started with the next layer. We decided to do cardboard next, then straw, then pine straw, and then top off with good soil. Okay, we've got the straw in and the pine straw, and it looks full, but it's really going to settle. That cardboard breaks down, it's going to go way down. So we're going to fill it completely to the top with the good bags of topsoil we've got and then I'm putting lime in it fertilizer let it settle and then this will be where I put tomatoes this year so right now he's going to get all the dirt for us and then we'll show you what it looks like when it gets filled up Okay, there it is. We got topsoil all over it. Now all them things we put in the bottom, the wood, the bark, straw, pine straw, cardboard, it acts as fillers, but it also will feed this soil as it breaks down. And then hopefully worms is gonna come into it and help even more. And we know this is gonna settle and we know buying topsoil doesn't have any nutrients in it. So we will be amending it before we plant anything. After we finish the long new bed, we come over here and healed up our potatoes. Looks like they're all coming up. Those are just now breaking through. So we healed them up pretty good and then probably give it a little bit and then we're gonna cover them with straw and that's about all we're going to do to them until it's time to dig them up. Now, as far as the beans, that project that I told you I was going to do, see if I couldn't plant them early. The seed I put in there was, it didn't germinate really well for me last year. That's why I wasn't worried about doing this experiment. But there is several that is peeking through now. We've got a couple cooler nights coming, so I'm going to wait till those pass. We're going to cover them. And then all the blank spaces down here, I'll probably put some more seed in and see if I can't get it full. So, this is Shelly from HodgePodge Hoosiers. If you like this kind of content, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.